This little girl in red is the only thing in color for almost all of Steven Spielberg's Oscar-winning film, Schindler's List. And today, we're going over exactly why Spielberg took a risk by showing his whole film in black and white with the exception of a girl who appears to just be a background character. And the answer may surprise you, as it isn't just about theme, but the girl in red is a brilliant creative technique to make you feel exactly what the protagonist feels. Let's start with the question, why is the film in black and white? Spielberg answered this question by stating, The Holocaust was life without light. For me, the symbol of life is color. That's why a film about the Holocaust has to be in black and white. You'll also notice that the black and white gives it a strong noir feeling, which was the style first used in the 1940s, which happens to be when the film takes place. And the low lighting and the lack of character convey a sense of sadness, reflecting the dark time it was in history. And yet, the girl in red is in color which is odd, especially if you consider Spielberg's quote that the symbol of life is color because we see the girl die and still in color. The girl wasn't particularly a beaming beacon of light and joy, but merely what appears to be a background character not too different from the thousands of other characters in the film. So then, why is the girl in color? Well, as I said in the intro, the girl is in color so that the viewer can feel the same thing the protagonist feels. Let me explain. First, to understand what the protagonist is feeling, we must understand the theme of the movie as the protagonist is wrestling with the theme throughout the film. Stated simply, the theme is Whoever saves one life saves the world entire. And if we look at Schindler's character arc, we see him begin as a war profiteer and as a womanizer. He uses people simply as a means to an end, but over the course of the film, he develops a respect for his Jewish accountant, and that begins to open his eyes to the world around him. He begins to realize that the people around him mean something to him, more than just the money that they can bring him. And by the end of the film, we see Schindler spending his own money to save them, even though it comes at no benefit to him. They matter to him because they are human beings and they have intrinsic value on their own that is worth respecting. So that's the theme and character arc of the protagonist. Now let's look at what he's feeling when he sees the girl in red. When he sees her, he pays attention to her. Likewise, we as viewers, we also pay attention to her as the red makes her stand out. Visually, the red makes us pay attention. It's as if the director is telling us, see this girl right here, she's special. Pay attention to her, she will matter. But in reality, her story is no different than all the others who die. Nothing particularly unique happens to her. She dies like most everyone else in the background. So why did Spielberg trick us? Why did he make us think that she was special and worth paying attention to when she was really no different than all the others? Well, that's the exact question the movie deals with. What's an individual's value? All you have to do is tell me what it's worth to you. What's a person worth to no, you? No, 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 no. What's one worth to you? Just because they're in the background of your life or in your movie, it doesn't mean they don't matter. Each person is living their own story. Because a life is everything to that person. You can't put a value on it, and that's what he realizes at the end. He'd give all his money away, all of his value, to save one more. And so when we see her being carried away, he cries because she and every one of them mean something to him. In the same way that we began paying attention to the girl in red because she seemed worth paying attention to, so did Schindler. So why did the girl in red matter? It's because she was a human being and every one of them matters. And by showing us the girl in color, we experienced the same exact feeling that Schindler had in that moment. Schindler cared for her because he developed a love for humanity. And we cared for her because Spielberg encouraged us to pay attention to her by some simple editing tricks. And at the end of the day, the viewer felt exactly what the protagonist felt, that these people mattered, making it all the more heartbreaking as the tragedy unfolds. If you would like to support this channel, please check out my book or leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for stopping by.